are the McDonald's Happy Meal, a childhood staple for many. Who doesn't remember the excitement of opening that colourful box, eager to see which toy awaited inside? In today's journey, we will unwrap the stories behind the 10 most disappointing McDonald's Happy Meal toys of all time. So stick around as we delve into these less than happy moments. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel, The Culinary Timeline, where we take you into the realm of nostalgia to uncover the most epic food-related stories of all time. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video as we relive some of these not-so-happy memories. Let's dig in. So, at number 10, we have the infamous Cursing Minions. These little yellow guys were supposed to bring joy, but instead brought confusion and some unexpected language lessons. Mashed.com reported that this Happy Meal toy is one of the worst because it's both controversial and incredibly annoying. In 2015, McDonald's released a collection of talking minions based off the Minions film from the same year. One of the minions fell under special scrutiny, with many parents claiming to hear it swear. What exactly did it say, you ask? Well, <clears throat> what the f***? According to CNBC, McDonald's refuted the claim and stated that the minion was speaking Minionese, not dropping F-bombs. Regardless of whether the minion was swearing or not, imagine hearing that chatty, distorted minion recording over and over and over again. Although many are obsessed with these obnoxious creatures, some of which we admit can be cute, their marketing has been excessive. Either way, whether you love it, hate it, think it may be profane, the caveman-themed minion lives on in infamy. Regardless of what the toy was saying, it was later removed from the Happy Meal selection. Coming in at number 9 are the McDonald's Little Gardener Tools. Intended to be a hit with all kids, they missed the mark by not capturing the essence of the gardening adventures. Remember Earth Day? Apparently McDonald's thought the best way to celebrate environmental awareness was to get a set of gardening tools. We are talking a rake the size of a pinky finger, and a watering can that could barely hold a single drop of water. Maybe the idea was good in theory, but the execution left a lot to be desired. Included with these cheap little gardening tools was a small package of seeds that could be planted to grow radishes. Of all things. Not surprisingly, these Happy Meals didn't exactly flourish in popularity. The eighth spot on our esteemed list today goes to the Idol MP3 player. You know, American Idol? The singing competition that took the world by storm? Any, um, Will Young fans in the house? But seriously, did anyone storm McDonald's for the limited edition American Idol MP3 player? Probably not. This toy was basically a glorified plastic brick that played a single short snippet of the American Idol theme song. Seriously, McDonald's? Where's the replay button? Where's the ability to play actual music? Where was Will Young? This was no doubt a major letdown for any kid hoping to become the next pop sensation. At number seven, McDonald's character sunglasses. They might have looked cool on paper, but in reality, they were just flimsy plastic frames. According to mash.com as well as other sources, they claimed that these were not just ugly, but were also kind of terrifying. Also, since when were sunglasses a toy? You couldn't play with these without possibly poking your eye out, and any fashion statement you made was downright embarrassing. The worst thing about it all was the sheer laziness of slapping a McDonald's character onto a basic accessory item, in the hopes that the allure of Camp McDonald land would be enough to appease the kids. We all love Ronald McDonald. Well, on second thoughts, maybe not. Either way, these Ronald McDonald sunglasses were just plain creepy. At number six, we have the hugely disappointing Mighty Ducks Pucks. They were neither mighty, nor did they glide smoothly on any surface. The Mighty Ducks was a cool movie, especially for kids in the 90s, hey oh. But these plastic pucks, not so much. They were basically glorified hockey pucks, small, hard, and frankly, not very imaginative. Sure, you could maybe slide them around the floor for a few minutes, but then what? They also weren't particularly durable, and let's be honest, most Happy Meal toys weren't explicitly built for high impact sports. We have it on good authority that Gretzky would be ashamed. Halfway through at number five, the toothbrush and toothpaste set. Because nothing says fun like dental hygiene. McDonald's had the interesting idea to forego Happy Meal toys for a toothbrush and toothpaste. Sure, brushing is important and all that, and dentists were probably happy. 
But we can only imagine the endless looks of disappointment on children's faces, followed by the same looks on parents' faces when they realise they have to find an alternative form of entertainment during the meal on top of managing their child's disappointment. The Happy Meal is supposed to make children happy. Leave the boring stuff to the parents. Please? Number four brings us the Zizzle, IZ. This bizarre toy left many wondering, what exactly does it do? As a kid, Zizzle toys were a goldmine, but looking back as an adult, it becomes painfully obvious why they are for kids. The Zizzle electronic musical toys had various features from brief individual musical numbers to light up noses and twisting limbs. Kids went to McDonald's for a Zizzle, and they kept going back to collect more. Listening to the recordings now, it's clear why parents avoided McDonald's during the Zizzle era. The low-quality pre-recorded tracks are full of static and sharp repetitive noises. That's right, you heard me, repetitive noises. Recognised for its ambiguous figure, the IZ were one of the more memorable fast food toys for its ambiguous function. The third of the most disappointing toys, the shameful bronze medal if you will, were the incomplete puzzles. Promising fun and interactivity, kids mostly just became confused and more puzzled by having incomplete pieces and trying to complete sets with missing pieces. Puzzles are supposed to be a challenge, but not like this. Many kids were left literally puzzled by the missing pieces in this Happy Meal toy. It served up a frustrating reminder that sometimes things just don't fit together. Runner up at number two are the useless Halloween buckets. More trick than treat, these buckets were a letdown for those expecting a real toy. Apparently, McDonald's sees something valuable in offering buckets around Halloween. From a practical standpoint, these could be somewhat useful when trick-or-treating, but it's not like they provided any fun. And even in terms of practicality, you essentially had a whopping one day out of the year where you could get real use out of these lame monster-faced buckets. But after that, they tended to simply collect dust as they were stored away in your spooky basement or creepy attic. Your choice. And finally, the number one spot on this hall of shame, the most disappointing, worst of all time is... The Michael Jordan Fitness Fun. They promised the craze, but delivered a circle of disappointment. Michael Jordan, a legend we all admire, of course. But these tiny plastic weights shaped like basketballs? Not so legendary. Well, the idea of promoting fitness to kids is great. But these miniature weights were more likely to break a fingernail than inspire a love of exercise. They were just too small and too flimsy to be truly engaging. This collection came with a small football, basketball and baseball, all of which deflated easily. It also came with a jump rope, way too small for most kids. Probably the worst of all though was the 30 second stopwatch that didn't even work half of the time. So there you have it foodies, the 10 most disappointing McDonald's Happy Meal toys of all time. What a whopper of a list. <laughs> Whoops, wrong franchise. Did anything on our list bring back some treasured memories for any of you? Let us know in the comments below. And don't worry, despite these disappointments, we all know there are plenty of other Happy Meal toys out there waiting to bring joy to kids everywhere. However, these infamous and disappointing Happy Meal toys left a bad impact for sure. But hey, bright side, it makes for an entertaining YouTube video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out our playlist for more amazing content for you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell for more nostalgic trips down memory lane. And remember, sometimes the anticipation is better than the toy itself. Until next time, my friends, keep those meals happy, keep the Szechuan sauce coming and crank up the Will Young. And we'll see you at McDonald's.